First came Snowtober, then came the Frankenstorm. The 2011 Halloween Nor'easter and 2012 Superstorm Sandy are being recalled as yet another strong weather system takes aim at the Lehigh Valley this weekend. And though the upcoming storm will fall on the same date, October 29th, this one won't be fully targeting the mid-Atlantic region. The destructive 2011 storm formed along a cold front to the southeast of the Carolinas and merged with the remnants of Hurricane Arena, according to the National Hurricane Center NHC. It barreled up the coast, and ran into an unseasonably cold air mass here in the northeast, leading to snowfall records in at least 20 cities for total accumulations. It also gave the Lehigh Valley a white Halloween when it pummeled our region, dropping around 8 to 10 inches of snow and knocking out power to thousands of customers for days. At least, three days after the storm, managers at PBL Electric Utilities remained huddled in a building in South Whitehall Township to determine whose lights would go back on first, according to this story from the Morning Call archives. The company had roughly 1,100 linemen and 100 tree crews deployed, but there was extensive damage done by wet, heavy snow that weighted down and snapped tree branches and power lines. Several deaths in this area were blamed on the 2011 storm, and eight deaths were reported across the state with 39 fatalities over 12 states in all. The Washington Post headline published on Halloween 2011 referred to the storm as epic. Incredible. Downright ridiculous. The pre-Halloween weather monster known as Superstorm Sandy post-tropical cyclone would then visit the following year. It was bad enough in the Lehigh Valley to once again cause memorable, long-term power outages and structural damage in some areas, but it became an unprecedented natural disaster along the central and northern New Jersey shore. The storm caused 72 fatalities in the United States, and at the time, was the second costliest Atlantic hurricane on record behind Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The storm targeting the Lehigh Valley this weekend is also a storm that will have some tropical origins, but not the same development as the 2011 or 2012 systems. Instead, the latest Weather Service Bulletin says a strong cold front is expected to move through with a developing area of low pressure along its Sunday and Sunday night. This system will transport moisture from the Gulf, Atlantic and the Caribbean northward as it moves through the East Coast. What this means is that heavy rains and gusty winds will target both the Mid-Atlantic and New England, but it's actually New England that is likely to be hit hardest. And because operational models continue to develop the storm much later and further northeast of this area, the Weather Service says they show a 13-inch rainfall across our area, with the possibility of gusting winds Saturday night through early Monday. Other impacts here, including poor drainage flooding, may mean a messy Monday morning rush with highway and airline delays. But well say a thank you to the weather gods this time around that we hopefully won't have a reason to give this storm a memorable name and a place etched in the Lehigh Valley's history books. As always, stay tuned to the latest forecasts this weekend as the details regarding the impacts of this system become clearer. Twitter at Sigafoos mail Sigafoos at McCall.com